Good morning. This is Renee with Mindful Intuitive Self. And let's take a look at what's coming for this next week in love. Nine of Cups. Huh. Nine of Cups. You have some wish fulfillment coming. I feel like you've been manifesting a lot. There's something coming for you. Nine of Cups is your wishes being granted. Wish fulfillment. Things that you've been manifesting finally coming into fruition. Hmm. Spirit, give me more messages. What do we have for the coming next week? What is this wish fulfillment? Tell me more. <laughs> this sun. This is going to be happiness, joy, fulfillment. Whatever this is, is going to make you very, very happy. The sun is the best card in the deck. Knight of Pentacles. You have someone bringing you an offer. Someone's bringing you an offer. This could be... This could be promotion. This could also be love. Pentacles bring stability. They bring abundance. So whatever this wish fulfillment is, it's going to bring you happiness and stability. The night brings in offers. So this is going to be an offer. And I believe it's going to be up to you to make a decision on if you would like to take this off or not. We do have the Hermit, but we have the Hermit in reverse. So I feel like you've been in a lot of solitude lately. You've been really keeping to yourself. You've been doing a lot of soul searching. And I believe in that soul searching is where you're finding your fulfillment. So, whatever this Hermit is for you, you're coming out of this solitude. You're coming out of this feeling of being alone, right? And this is bringing you into your fulfillment, into more happiness and security. At the bottom, we have the Three of Swords. So you're also coming out of heartbreak. What broke your heart? Who broke your heart? There's too many cards, Spirit. But we do have the Empress at the top. We have the Empress at the top. So you, whatever this is that you're bringing into fruition, the Empress is very fruitful. She really knows how to make things happen. And... I believe with you coming out of this hermit mode, coming out of this solitude, you're coming out with even more wisdom, more knowledge. The Four of Wands, happiness, family, fulfillment. This is also 11-11. So this, this is love coming true. This is marriage, stability, fulfillment. You have a lot of cards here that are going to bring you a lot of happiness. And coming out of this hermit mode, 
I think it's something that you may not be expecting, but you really, really deserve. You deserve this. Whatever this is coming. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me, why is the sun and the king of pentacles, the knight of pentacles? Oh. The king. It's showing as the knight, but I'm reading it as the king. Okay. Tell me more about this sun. Tell me more. The Knight of Cups. Definitely. What did I tell you? An offer. An offer coming your way. Now you have an offer of stability. An offer of security. And now you have an offer of love. Plus you have this Four of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. So, this is definitely a love offer. A love offer that's offering you not only love, but security and abundance. Tell me more. Why are the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups here? <laughs> Look what popped back out. The Empress. You made this happen. This is you. I feel like you may have. Look at this. Right? Oh, I love tarot. Um, this offer is going to be. Very abundant. With. The Ace of Cups. And the Empress. You're in your queen mode. And you could be male or female. But you are in your abundance mode at the moment. You are shining bright. Shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> right? And. You're in for this. You're in for this. The two of cups. And the two of swords. In reverse so I feel like this two of cups and two of swords in reverse someone couldn't make a decision someone wasn't thinking about love someone tried to forget you that's what I'm feeling someone tried to forget you but you're coming in as this Empress you're unforgettable there's something about you. There's something about you that is so unique. So thought provoking. That even if they try to forget about you. They can't. Right? And I feel like that's the reason why this is coming in. Because whoever this is. This may be someone that you're dealing with. This may be someone that you think doesn't care someone who you think doesn't know your value but they do they really do they know that you're the empress they know that you are someone who's unique and someone who is not going to come around twice so I feel like Spirit is telling me that this offer that you are not expecting is likely going to come in quickly. It's likely going to come in very, very quickly. Okay, give me more messages, Spirit. That's too many cards. But we have the King of Cups. So this King of Cups can't forget you. This is someone who is in control of their emotions. They know how to control their heart and kind of hold back when they need to. And I feel like this King of Cups, this King of Cups 
has now met the Empress. And he can't forget her. He cannot forget her. This is someone who may be holding back at the moment. But I feel like you're in for a surprise. You're definitely in for a surprise. Spirit, give me more messages, please. When is this person coming in? What the does this person want with my viewers what does this person want I feel like I'm not asking the right question here when will this happen spirit wow you see how those just shot out <laughs> This is going to happen very quickly. And it's going to happen when you least expect it. It's going to happen when you aren't anticipating it. That's the reason why all them cards flew out like that. Very unexpectedly. But I feel like when you receive this un unexpected offer, when you see this unexpected invitation, when you receive this unexpected invitation, this person is going to have a lot to say. They're going to have a lot to tell you. I feel like they'll be in like catch up mode. Um, like they want to tell you everything that's been going on everything that they've been going through this person wants to open up and explain that's what I get they want to explain because I feel like this person you feel like they haven't been making any effort you feel like they've been holding back maybe holding back information holding back thoughts but there's a lot of action coming forward. There's a lot of things this person wants to do. And I feel like, you know, how they're kind of watching these pinnacles grow. Kind of watering them. I feel like this person has been doing work in the background. This person has been making efforts that you may not even be aware of. And now they're ready to make some moves. And this can also be impulsive decisions. And I feel like when this person comes forward, it's going to be as an impulse. It's going to be something that may be even un unexpected for both of you. Something that maybe you both aren't expecting to do. But I feel like when this person sees you, when this person sees you and it's like this spark this light right that they're drawn to and I feel like they can't hold back any longer they want to move forward they don't want to fight anymore they don't want to keep things from you I feel like this, you may feel like, yeah, this person, this person has been healing. They've been working on their healing. They've been working on removing these swords. They don't want to feel this heartbreak anymore. They don't want to feel lost without you. They want to feel fulfilled. They want to feel whole again. And I feel like this person needs to move forward in order to feel whole because they're tired of fighting. They're tired of holding back. They're tired of keeping the truth from you. They're tired of feeling bitter and withdrawn. Right? And I feel like this person is kind of at its wit's end. They're, they're feeling like their only choice is you. They feel like their only choice is you.
What is the outcome, Spirit? Give me, give me a message. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for this message? What is the outcome? The hangman in reverse. This person has gotten a different perspective. They're seeing things in a different light. And they're ready to make a huge offer. Ace of Pentacles. They're ready to make a huge offer. Because they finally... What I'm feeling is this, this person is finally ready to let go of their pride, their ego. Their feeling of insecurity. I feel like that's what this person has been working on. That's what they've been battling um, as far as your connection. And you are the person that makes them feel whole. You are, you are it for this person. You're it for them. You're it for them. I feel like this person has been going through some kind of inner turmoil and inner judgment. And I feel like that has helped them gain a different perspective, a different viewpoint. This person is ready to let down their walls and finally let you in. Because I feel like this person was closed off for a very long time. Tell me, why is this hangman here in reverse? Give me a message. Why is this hangman here in reverse? Give me a message, please. Why is the hangman in here in reverse? They want to be quiet. They don't want to give any more information. They feel like they've spoken too much already. Why is this hangman here? Spirit, give me a message. Why is the hangman here? Six of Cups. Six of Cups. This person has been reminiscing. They've been thinking about you. This may be, this is definitely someone from your past. This is definitely someone who you have had a deep connection with, a deep bond. Someone who cannot forget you. And maybe someone who you can't forget. We have the Six of Wands at the bottom. So this is definitely a victory. Definitely. <laughs> it's going to end up good. <laughs> it's definitely going to end up good. Why is the Six of Cups here? Is this someone from the past spirit? Is this someone from the past? Page of Wands. This is definitely someone from the past. Let's take a look at the Romance Tarot. What do you have to say from the Romance Tarot? Tarot spirit. I can't even talk now. My, I'm tongue-tied. This person is going to be tongue-tied. They don't know what to say to you. They don't know what to say. I'm feeling like this person has been thinking of the words to say. They've been thinking how to approach you, how to come to you. Will you accept them? Will you listen? Are you going to listen to what they have to say? This person comes forward. Are you going to hear them out? Are you healed enough to accept them? Or did they hurt you bad enough to not want to? At the bottom, we have manifest your dreams. 
you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps towards the changes you desire. Even if they're small steps, notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as the resources and support that miraculously appear. Your dreams, dream fulfillment. What did I say? Nine of Cups. Okay. We also have the Six of, of Abundance. Heaven opens its loving arms and pours abundance onto you. An unexpected gift is on the way. Accept it with gratitude. Humility. Knowing that you'll have the chance to return the generosity by giving to others in the future. Consider volunteering for a charitable organization. Six of Abundance. Oh, wow. And what did I say? The Three of Thought. This is a Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. But this is what I was telling you. This is what I was explaining. Are you healed enough to accept this person back? Because I feel like this person has been doing a lot of healing behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Okay, this card says, loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And then you'll be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Take the time you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. This person has been doing the work that you're not aware of. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Okay, let's get one more message. And then we'll go ahead and end this. Spirit, give me a message. What would this person say to my viewer if they were face to face? What would they say? What do they need to say? What do they speak from their heart, spirit? What words? <laughs> Look, I want to tell you how I feel. Exactly what I was saying. I know I messed up everything. This person feels a lot of guilt. They feel like... Yeah, what did I say? I hope that you can forgive me one day. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. This person has a lot of regret for maybe how they treated you, how your situation played out. But I feel like they want to make things right. They're just trying to find the right time to make their approach. And I feel like their approach is going to happen when you least expect it. Now, since I'm telling you this, you're going to expect it a little bit more. But I feel like it's still going to catch you off guard. This person is also saying, my life is not as together as it seems. So that may be something that you have to get yourself prepared for. Because I feel like this person, they have a lot to deal with. And there may be things that either you can help them with or you can help them get through right but this person needs your support but this is your decision when this person comes to you with this offer it's going to be your decision on whether you want to accept this person back into your life so, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. So, that's what I have for you. So, you have a few decisions to make. Um, open your heart. Open your heart. And ask your higher power 
what's best for you rather than that be spirit the universe God whoever's your higher power that you look to for guidance take a look to them for the answers and seek your decision wisely because I feel like this person is the perfect person for you but then again they're not perfect so any expectations that you may have about this person you need to release and give this person grace because that's what they need they carry a lot of guilt they carry a lot of burden okay so that's what I have for you if this reading resonates with you please like and subscribe I'm going to come back more and more I know it's been a while but this year has been really really tumultuous and I've been riding my waves the best I can right so keep me in your thoughts and in your prayers as I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers and have a wonderful week ahead love and light many blessings to you and if you haven't subscribed to Renee's Mindful Intuitive Self please think about doing so share some love because I share it with you through my readings and I'll have more readings to come Take care.